What's the most outrageously expensive thing you've seen in person? A comic book shop called Silver Snail used to have Amazing Spider-Man 1 on display and for sale. This was back in the mid 90s. The CEO of my husband's company years back held a Christmas party at this house at the time. The company was a startup and there was maybe 20 employees. He had original Picasso artwork on his walls. I have no idea how much they were actually worth. But I thought that was pretty cool. I got to see one I studied in art school in a friend of a friend's home. I was in awe. So, like, you eat your pop tarts in the same room as your inherited Picasso? The Patek Philip Grandmaster chime in steal it and only watch showing in London. All the big watch companies do a one-off for the charity auction. And Patek usually only do watches in precious metals. A grand complication in steel is truly a one-off. It sold for 31 million Swiss francs close to 35 meter USD. I actually held it in my gloved hand. My high school orchestra teacher who is also concert master for the Arkansas Symphony was loaned a 12 million Stradivarius anonymously for an upcoming performance. I wasn't allowed to touch it, but I got a solid look at it, as well as heard it from 3 feet away. I guess it's not entirely outrageous, but I went to a family owned aquarium store a couple months ago, to get some medicine for my guppies and they were selling one year old arrow and a fish for 6000 each. I'm probably just ignorant, when it comes to prices of exotic fish, but I was quite surprised considering they were surrounded by guppies and goldfish whose lives are worth approximately 2. 50 each. My sister used to work on super yachts. I'd go visit her every now and again, and stay on the boat during off season in crew quarters. This was about half a billion euros worth of boat. And it was pretty damn fancy. It had glass flooring and staircases. That turned opaque, if you stood on them, so people couldn't look up your skirt. Or the usual fancy boat thing like a spa and German movies, that hadn't even been released at the cinema yet. I went to a party at a pool house when I was a teenager just the pool house was for 000 square feet. The kid's grandfather invented sheetrock. Trust fund babies. God damn it. Why wasn't I a trust fund baby? Edited in a word. A freshly drafted NFL rookie stayed at a hotel I worked at and partied a little too hard. When checking out he left over 100k in jewelry in the room. I was tasked with going and getting it, and securing it till someone from his posse, could come get it. I wore it for a few hours for fun. Heavy af and so shiny. A bracelet that was wider than the biggest watch covered in diamonds. And a chain, that went past my sternum and probably one, slash two in in thickness also completely encrusted in diamonds. Outside of the crown jewels and art museums, I went to Harrods, and saw a chandelier worth 50. 000. I spotted a gold toilet brush for 1000. A grand for a bog brush. I attended a wedding that was rumored to cost well over a million dollars. There was two venues. If I remember there was nine member band flown in from New York City. Another strings band during the ceremony. And a third trumpet band that escorted the walk to the reception. An artist oil painted the reception live at the party. The food was incredible. Each table was over the top with guests, having their own glass engraved with their name to take home. They gave people dancing shoes you could take home. It was incredible, and probably the most expensive private event I will ever attend. I'm sure I'm missing some other details but everything was over the top. A 2. 5 million dollar mansion in Missouri. My roommate and I played dress up, and went to the showing for the free food. When we asked about the entire first story being stone, including the furniture, we were told it was because the river overflowed and flooded the mansion every year. Everything was made of stone, so it could be cleaned easily. Why would anyone spend money on that? In Aspen, co a few years back in a small antique store. We walk in, and the guy working there never even acknowledges us, while he's casually chatting on his phone. 
I see a carved wood eagle sculpture about 2 feet tall, and 1 foot wide. I flip over the price tag 125, 000. I laughed out out, looked at my friend, and said this isn't our kind of store and promptly left. Aspen is the weirdest place I've ever visited. I worked security at an art museum and we exhibited this little Chinese teacup with a rooster on it. Little ass thing was worth over 36 million dollars. Apparently there were only 4 in the whole world. I felt unsafe around it, like I'm not risking my life for this stupid cup. A wealthy couple had a pair of Steinway Concert Grand Model D pianos at opposite ends of their spacious living room. Neither the husband nor his wife played. The pianos. Valued at about 175. 000 each. Were just there for show. And when they hired someone like me to play piano for an occasional cocktail slash dinner party. The set designs for fashion shows. When I was working as a scenic carpenter I was always amazed at the amount of money spent on scenery. That will go right into the trash for events that last 30 minutes to a couple of hours. We covered an empty warehouse floor in Manhattan with something like 50, 000 square feet of beveled oak boards in one instance. Material costs aside, we had a crew of around 20 guys making at minimum 25 slash hours working for days around the clock to make it happen. Catered a high school graduation party. We did fried chicken and mashed potatoes. So had no idea how we ended up serving food in a mansion. Turns out the daughter was going to Auburn, so they wanted something southern. Out of 200 people there, they ate maybe 4 full plates of food. They had another catering, bring the real party food. People dropped 3k on food, just for the novelty of it. I live in New York City, and like to be a tourist sometimes. So my husband and I went to the 5th Avenue Tiffany's. I don't even wear jewelry, but I like shiny things and are very nice. Clearly board sales associate, let me try on a yellow diamond, two and a half carat engagement ring. For fun. I asked the price, and it was 65, 000. I can't even imagine how rich you would have to be, to have that as your engagement ring and that be a normal thing. 10k 20k bicycles. I must have looked poor, because the guy running the place pretty much kicked me out, as soon as I walked in. Last year I went to Florida. At one point, we went to the Kennedy Space Center. I was in the gift shop. And, if I remember correctly, there was a chunk at a Meteor right selling for 12. 000. It still shocks me whenever I fly, and I look through magazines, and see ridiculously expensive thing. A gold pen for 1700, that you can sign your death bills with. Back in the day I had to escort a Tulip Ego Diamond laptop prototype to a trade show, set it up in the booth, and ensure its return to the office personally. Went to Disney World a few years back, and got a glass slipper from Aribus Brothers. One of the items they had, was a dual replica of the castle. It costs more than 30, 000. And don't get me wrong. The thing looked I'm not spending more on a decorative piece that will live behind glass for my own sanity than I spent on my car. I used to work for a billionaire. They loved to purchase very old wines think 90 years old. Random jewelry for their spouse. A solid gold sturgeon caviar holder. One meter cars. Etc. Generally all through auction at Sotheby's. It was my job to organize their purchases. It was. Interesting. To see what crazy things rich people spent their money on. I may or may not have tried on the jewelry. I play Magic the Gathering. My decks aren't expensive. But they are not cheap either. Normally around 4 to 700 dollars. Then I played against a guy who had a deck worth around 29. 000. Crazy thing is, that this was his first deck. And he bought all of the cards recently. He didn't even play that often either. So imagine dropping almost 30 grand on something that you lose maybe once or twice a month. Versailles. A solid 60 pure gold coins that were in a small chest in a museum. The worth was 246k US dollars. I shook Bill Gates hand in 8th grade. 
he visited our school to make a donation to our district. Haven't came across anything more expensive since then. Paul Newman's Rolex Daytona at an auction. Sold for 5. 475. 000. I went to a Patek Philip exhibit in New York City. They are among the top high watch brands. With watches that go for tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some go well over the million dollar mark. They are stunning pieces of art and machinery. When I told my mom where I was going. She asked if I was going to buy one watches aren't my mom's thing. So it's not like she knew the brand. I had to rein my laughter in hard before telling her that the cheapest watch that might possibly be there was more expensive than any car anyone in our family had ever bought. Nope. I was only going so I could do an AAH over amazing timepieces. I did bring home their info slash display catalog that was made for the exhibit. It's basically a soft cover coffee table book of exquisite watches. If I ever win the lottery, I'd love to get one. A Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller worth around 14. 600. That my dad gifted to his dad. His dad didn't like the watch. So didn't wear it. And then my uncle decided to get it fixed using its warranty. And now wears it. Dubai Gold Salk. People dropping 20k just like that. A 12 year old Russian kid who came to stay at a summer camp I worked at. That has a 64. 000 Rolex. We later found out that his 14 year old cousin was actually his 28 year old bodyguard. And he was the son of a Russian diplomat. All around nice kid, though. There's a fancy liquor store in my town that I go and visit just to look at stuff. They have a 30. 000 bottle of cognac. Bonus. Most expensive wine. This wine is definitely not for drinking. 7k for a Pinot Noir? I've seen coin or diamond which is estimated to be worth 140 to 400 million. I used to run a community pool. And we had one of the guys who swam on Michael Phelps relays in the Olympics come in to run a clinic. He just casually left his gold and silver medals in an office with a bunch of teenagers when he went out for a smoke. Flew into France and saw a Bugatti Veyron at a nearby petrol station. The owner was surrounded by people trying to take photos of it. I saw a lady show up to Walmart with a McLaren, wearing a 20k outfit. A 100k person the best thing is she came to buy lotion. The Mona Lisa I guess. A 1 billion dollar home. At least he's giving the 600 staff a job. A glass of rare brandy in a Swarovski crystal glass. Apparently you can keep the glass after. It was 10k. When I went to the rich part of the city this one house had native outdoors. Specifically West Coast Canada native art. I'm native and my aunt owns a native art studio, so I already know this is expensive, since it was nearly the entire surface area. I would estimate that the doors on this house cost 60, 000 to 100, 000. I can't remember its name exactly, but in Praha I saw a radiance of the sun. A face mantle piece job that was donated to the church a couple of hundred years ago. What's so fancy? A gold frame by the shape of the sun with over 6. 000, 000 diamonds on it. It does not have a price. Apparently it is priceless.